sights in the sky. It's not just the clouds, but it's what sunlight interacting with clouds can do. Clouds are made of water droplets or ice crystals, and both of those can bend light to create colorful bows and arcs. These are not rainbows, even though they have seven colors. It's not raining. These arcs are around or above the sun in the ice crystals of cirrus clouds. This one, high in the sky, forms where the clouds are very cold and often very thin. Here, the clouds are so thin that you barely see them, but you do see the arc. What is it? It's called a circumzenithal or circumzenith arc. It's an arc of color, almost in a circle, at the zenith. That's the point directly above your head. The ice crystals in clouds bend or refract the light to separate it into the colors of the spectrum. A halo around the sun, or the two bright spots on either side of the sun, nicknamed sun dogs, signal cirrus clouds, the hint to search for a circumzenithal arc. Even without those, very thin cirrus clouds can still produce a circumzenithal arc. Watch this time lapse of high and middle level clouds. The high clouds are made of ice crystals. The middle clouds are made of water droplets. See how the arc appears, faint at first, then bright before being hidden by the middle layer of clouds. Circumzenithal arcs are found anywhere on Earth in any season when there are cirrus clouds. Sometimes they only last a minute or two, other times they may last for hours. Look, and you will find, straight above your head, in cirrus clouds, an arc of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, a circumzenithal or circumzenith arc. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals.